I've had people comment on my videos that Arch is very unstable and that blah 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 and the, the blah 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 the blah 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 but really how stable is Arch? There's a popular saying that says Arch is as stable as you want it to be and Arch is a uh, rolling release distribution which essentially means that updates are just pushed out like instantly. You know obviously they're like checked and this and that and tested but you get updates a lot more frequently and you get a whole bunch of new features compared to other distros such as like Debian or, you know, what Linux Mint, like anything uh, like Ubuntu or like Debian based. All of those have different versions with different version names, like, I don't know, Ubuntu 22. And then it has like some name or Ubuntu 23 or whatever. Arch Linux does not have Arch 1 or Arch 2 or Arch 3, it just has Arch Linux. You know, the most like, update worthy is like the kernel name like if we look here my kernel is six uh six point one point nine arch one one two and you know if if i update it i think i could update to another like the latest kernel right now and it would be like six point two or whatever the kernel is right now so that's the closest thing but arch is just pushing updates like all day <laughs> every single day they'll there's a new update for whatever packages you have. It's not even really Arch necessarily. It's just the people, whatever packages you download, you know, it just receives updates instantly. So because of that, if you update your system every single day, sometimes, you know, and if you're downloading packages that are very obscure, like if you're downloading packages from the official repos, like the official repository, um, then you'll probably be fine. You'll probably never encounter an issue. However, if you download more uh, AUR programs, then expect that there might be issues, you know, especially if you're just downloading this, that, this, that, then you never know when some AUR package is going to break because of some library dependency updated, you know, but realistically, if your system is working fine right now, you're on Arch and you never updated, then your system will probably be fine. <laughs> Only thing I've noticed is that sometimes you're forced to update, you know, there's there was one thing that motivated me to join Linux is that forced updates, forced updates were pissing me off. They're just very annoying. And what motivated me to go onto Linux was the whole idea that you don't have to update. There's no nothing forcing you. And that is true. You don't have to be, you're not forced to ever update. However, sometimes if you haven't updated in quite a while, when you try and download packages, at least for me, it just doesn't work. There'll be, it doesn't necessarily say like you have to update. It just like doesn't work. But then if you update your system and then try and download the package again, it'll be completely fine. So I've experienced that maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm always, you know, willing to say it's not, it's maybe not even Arch's fault. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong in my configuration. But that's what I've experienced, that sometimes you'll have to update if you want to download a certain package. But honestly, ideally, if you want to be like safe, but still like have, you know, be kind of on the bleeding edge, then updating like every Friday or something is perfectly fine you know you could even probably set up a script if you wanted to like manually or like update automatically on Fridays or whatever day or like you know you could probably do something like that um but I don't really see the point I just update whenever I feel like I need to but Arch overall like genuinely this idea that it's unstable like I've never had anything that completely like my whole system was dead I've never had anything that serious I've had sometimes where there's like little minor issues but honestly, like usually it's pretty, pretty fixable. And the thing is because Arch is like a very large community, you know, it's one of the greatest things is that it's got a huge community. If something happens easily, there's probably another couple people that have had the same issue as you and you go on the forums and boom, you, you find a solution very quickly. So overall, the whole idea that Arch is this incredibly unstable experience and that you're going to, your computer's going to die is just kind of like, it's kind of stupid, you know, obviously Again, everyone has like a different configuration, so I can't universally say it will always be stable, but generally it is as stable as you want it to be. If you're compiling programs, then obviously you're at the mercy of yourself. Like if you're using libraries that are getting updated and then the library gets updated or whatever, then maybe your, uh, what you compiled is not gonna work or you know this or that, but AUR, you know, there's more, more of a risk. You wanna make sure you're like not just blindly installing whatever. Um, in the official repos, usually it will be fine, but even then, every now and then, there will be some kind of error. And actually, I'm pretty sure the Arch developers have a mailing list where if there is like some huge problem that occurs, then they'll just email it to everyone on that mailing list. Like, oh, this package updated, uh, caused an issue, just 
revert back or, you know, something like that. So yeah, that's, that is my experience. Obviously like there's people that disagree, but like genuinely, like, I don't know what you're like, you must be doing something, um, wrong. Genuinely. I think there's another aspect is that, you know, even though I'm on the bleeding edge distribution, I'm on Arch Linux, I don't really use it for the fact that's rolling release. Like to me, it's like, I don't really care if it's stable or rolling release. I mean, I guess it's cool that you can access like all the latest features, but I genu genuinely don't really care. If you are someone that like really likes it for that reason, you're updating every day then, then maybe expect that you will have some instability. Like that's just how it goes with, or that's like what comes with being on that um, bleeding edgeness. Like if you're updating every single day and you want all the new features, well realize that some features are not always gonna be 100% polished and not gonna be, you know, perfect. So, you know, that's things to consider. But genuinely, like if you're using it as a daily driver, you don't really care about having all the new features, you'll be fine. I, I think genuinely you'll be fine. Unless you have some weird like hardware issue or anything else, you'll probably be completely fine on Arch Linux. It's not as bad as they make it seem. You probably won't even, like if you're just being safe, you're not even using AUR packages, you probably never have an issue. I would probably bet like maybe you have an issue like once or twice a year. If we compare that to Windows, <laughs> how many times would you have issues with Windows just completely breaking in some random way? It's not even comparable. So, you know, comparing it to like other distros, sure. Other distros are definitely more stable, especially if you're on like the stable or the long-term support kernel, then there's ways to make it even more and more um, stable. But overall, I think Arch is fine. And I think the benefits of Arch outweigh the fact that it's unstable slightly. You know, the fact that you have access to the AUR, although granted it does create a bit more instability, is way better than the fact that, you know, if, if you're on a different distro and then suddenly some random package that you want to, or it's not even a random package, but it's like a smaller package. It's so much easier to just quickly like, you know, Yai or whatever is your AUR helper and just, you know, download it compared to having to compile the program yourself or maybe downloading like a binary or something. It's just, just way better. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.